Clean. Feel my wrath. Another one to add to the collection. Hey, who are you? I mean, welcome. I... Forgive me, stranger. It's not very often I get visitors. Oh, that's quite all right. I don't mind the company. I'm Neberius, an, um, amateur mage who specializes in the revival of those who have passed away. Well, well, yes, I suppose you could say it like that. But I don't like to use the term myself. Necromancy is highly misunderstood, and not just an instrument of insane sorcerers. I practice the art in such a way that it may benefit adventurers, such as yourself. I mean, everyone can use an ally, no? What I meant? is that the school of necromancy I follow is devoted to the construction of creatures. For lack of a better word. Practically, we take various limbs from various dead species and combine them to make the ultimate brother-in-arms. Not necessarily, Slayer. I, for one, use limbs from creatures that died from natural causes only, and never from humans. If you change your mind, I'd be glad to help you build a creature of your own. Of course, there is, as always, a little problem. The creatures I construct, I just can't keep them under control. They're wild and behave erratically. Four experiments went well so far, but all four ran away somewhere to the south. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong, or where the disobedient critters are running to, but if you ever find out, could you let me know? Nothing horrible, I assure you. It was my interest in life, as a matter of fact. Life over death.
Only after studying the necromantic law did it become apparent that most would use it only for the perverted customs for which it is so notorious. Still, I was convinced the creature building could still be practiced with honor, which is why I chose to exercise only that particular discipline. Did he? I don't really know that much. His life is shrouded in mystery, and he died so long ago. You'll have heard about his heritage and prowess on the battlefield, no doubt. The common knowledge. I do know a bit more than that. For example, even though he was supposed to serve his master, Maxos, the Dragon Mage, he only showed subservience to Ouroboros, the Dragon God. And what I think no one remembers is that it was the demon Baal who pillaged this valley, which led to his ultimate downfall. He was possibly the mightiest mage who ever lived, and was favored by the Ancient Ones, the Dragons. Some Dragon Knights directly served him because of his unrivaled powers. Lovis was supposed to be one of them. There is a temple in the valley dedicated solely to Maxus. His followers lived there, as did the aspirant Dragon Knights. He disappeared one day, hundreds of years ago, and no one has heard from him since. The temple also was found locked, and now lies mostly forgotten. Drog... Dragfir... Dragfire! That's it! It's only storage. Why did I have to choose such a difficult password? I'll show you how I work, but I won't release this specimen. It would just run away again. Another one to add to the collection.